Welcome back. This is Sarah with Tour Reviews for you. We're on day number 20 of the 25 days of Poppin' Cooking. Let's see what we'll be making today. Oh, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's make this one. Ooh, cool. I'm gonna be making more gummies. Today is a marine life themed gummy set. I saw this on Amazon.com and thought it was so cute. From the instructions on the back of the packaging, it looks like this set uses the plastic mold trays again. I'm hoping that these gummies come out a lot easier than the previous ones. So in this set, you get a clear plastic tray, a red packet, a blue packet, a silver packet, a water dropper, a fork, and this little collectible aquarium scene. In addition, you will also need some water. Before I get started, I do want to show you guys a close-up of the plastic tray. The sea animals I got were a cute little fish, a starfish, a killer whale, and some sort of, I think, an eel. And here's a close-up of what that aquarium scene looks like. Now on to make our gummies. First, I'm gonna open up the red packet and pour it into the different molds on my plastic tray. I'll pour some into the fishy, into this little eel guy, the whale tail, the starfish, and the whale's head and body. Then I'm gonna open up the blue packet and do the same thing with the blue powder. Using my fork, I'm gonna make sure that the molds are completely covered with the powder. I'll tap it a few times to make sure that the powder is evenly distributed. Now I'm gonna fill up my tray on the left side with water. I'm gonna put in enough water until it reaches the fill line. Now I'll open up the silver packet, pour all of the packet into the water, and give it a little mixy mixy until all the powder is dissolved. Here's a few mixy mixy shoutouts for you guys. This mixy mixy goes out to Vanny Loves Unicorns, Juliana Denise, Mango Foxy, and Mangle, I think I would rather have the octopus balls rather than that cake. Loom Lover One from Scotland, Bridget McCann, DIY Lab, and Stardust Yusi, I'm so sorry I misspelled your name last time, Kennedy Jefferson, Forever Cupcake Lover, Juju Fruit Productions, To Brooke, Hadley, Kylie, and Laurel. Michaela Rose Pollard, Amba John, Sherry Monette, Naya and Neil Washington, My Barbary, Cupcake Gamer 02202, Typical Tiff, Hannah Izzard, Amber Medeiros, Caitlin 09, and to Kira Sage. Thank you guys. Now using my water dropper, I'm gonna squeeze some of it up and pour it onto my powdered animals. The colors of these candies are so pretty. I really like the way the colors swirled on the whale's head. Using my fork, I'm gonna carefully try to take out these gummies out of the molds. 
I'm trying to be really careful, but these are super hard to get out. Finally, that took forever and it looks like my eel didn't fare so well. I almost think this set should come with a toothpick. It would be a lot easier to get these guys out that way. All right guys, time for the taste test. Now I'm assuming that these gummies are gonna taste very close to, if not identical, to the gummies that I made before. Mm -hmm. Yep, they are pretty close to the previous gummies. They're chewy and just a little bit sweet. I think the flavor is supposed to be something like a berry, maybe something like a raspberry, but I'm not 100% sure. They're good, I like them. They were kind of a pain to get out of the plastic molds, but the taste is very good. Well, thank you guys so much for watching day 20 of the 25 days of poppin' cooking. Just a few more days left, so tune in tomorrow for day number 21. See you guys tomorrow.